Good morning, guys. I feel like Ash and Dan again. <laughs> Hi, so we are off to a surprise trip. We're going um, back that way. So please excuse the directions because I'm doing a surprise for Luke this morning, which he's not impressed about. Anyway, it's finally cooled down. It is a really cool 26 degrees, and I know that doesn't sound cool, but by Gold Coast standards, it's glacier. Um, finally over my cold, so sorry about the no video last week. Um, sick as a dog, but fortunately we can do it again this week. <coughs> thanks to rescheduling. Yes. So Luke, do you have any idea where we're going? Um, no. Okay. No idea. Don't even have a faintest. Well, uh, no, because you keep on throwing me off the scent. <laughs> uh, throwing people off the scent is my favourite thing to do. I don't know. Yay! Do you want me to tell you now, or do you want to just drive? I'll just drive. Okay, cool. Come with us on a driving journey. We're going to the Koala Breakfast of Paradise Country. Now we have had breakfast there before. The breakfast is really good. So I'm like just excited for that part. Mm. Um, but we also get to cuddle some koalas. We get some photos. And um, I checked yesterday and we're the only ones booked in. Uh -huh. And we're running late. And we're running late. Nice. Because someone wouldn't get out of it. What? I was ready before you left. Because I take longer. Hello? This doesn't just happen. Alright, so we will see you at Paradise Country. Um, and it's basically just like a little Aussie farm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's got lots of animals, which you'll see today, or well, this morning. Um, lots of really kitsch dad humor shows, which I love. Um, and the farm stays here really good. We've stayed here twice now, um, glamping, and it's been pretty good both times. Well, the second time was better because we had an ensuite. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we're just about to park the car and run on down because we are running late. Thanks to Luke George. Come oh, on, Paradise Country! So I've wanted to do this for a long time, but you not really. Super in it. Oh, I just I've, I've wanted to I've wanted to do it. I just never really. I don't know. I don't know. Just never got around to it. It's actually muggy, isn't it? It's a bit muggy. <sighs> it's very bushy. Very picturesque. Oop. <sighs> I feel like this really says Australia. What? It's really Aussie. <laughs> Look, it's a peacock. Hello. Female one. Female. And a baby. Oh, the cuteness. All right. Let's go in. Can we get in? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi. It's better. So we've got scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages, hash browns, croissants, the best mushrooms ever, baked beef tomatoes. Over here there's some fresh fruit and yogurt. And over here 
is the biggest muffin of all. Uh-huh. And toaster, tea and coffee. Is this the toast? This is the bread. Oh, Under here. Oh, um, cool. I'm going to stick on with some jams. Vegemite. Vegemite. Nice. You happy? And this is the farmhouse restaurant. Isn't it beautiful? So good. That's nice and quiet. We have our own separate reserved area. This is the view. They've got better if working someone, conditions than me. I reckon they've got like oh my the best God. <laughs> so welcome to our rainy koala breakfast where it's just the size of this This is Jack. He's very quiet, but we love it. Crazy. Knows when he's 20, 25 minutes up, so he comes down the train and sits before him. <laughs> Say bye. Bye, Jack. Nice having breakfast with you. <laughs> Don't get too wet. <laughs> Did you like that one? Because it was old and slow. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't attack you. I'm not scared of it. As well as you clip to sleep, the only really other time you'll see them eating anything else is if they're eating the dirt or the soil from the ground. Now that stuff has a lot of nutrients and minerals in it, so that's why they're getting that sometimes. And lots of salts and things like that too. There you go. I'll walk down. Um, now koalas have really specialized bodies to make them adaptable to live their life in the tree. Um, if we have a look at her nose, she's got a very big nose pair today, I'm sorry, but we do. Um, <laughs> that nose is what they use to sniff the food before they eat it, so koalas can actually smell if the food is good for them, so they have, if there's too many toxins in them, they won't eat it. Um, if it's a good leaf or if it's a species that they like, they'll always hold up the leaf to their nose before they actually eat it as well. Um, the reason why koalas can actually eat a diet based on eucalyptus to sleep, even though it has all those toxins in it, if we were to eat it, we'd get quite unwell. But koalas have a specialized bacteria inside that belly that can break down those toxins and everything for them. Um, what else is cool about you? The bottom. So, <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, when we go into some new places, we'll go put plants in here first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm with the Thank you, Taylor. Oh, nice that's so that's the baby. That's like, oh my god. <laughs> so cute. Can I borrow it for the night? <laughs> Just one day, I promise I'll Pines at someone's house. Yeah. So we had to go and get them. 
and then they found wild koalas on the bush trail so we don't even know if that that's our female koala come on in but we don't even know who she's bred with if it's our male or not because she disappeared and then she came back with a baby so it could be our random <laughs> So the mums will probably be hungrier, so you can hold up the food to their noses and see if they um, will take any. Mm. We've got three babies in here and three mums, but you can pat them all on their backs if you'd like. Crazy. And feel the difference between how soft they are compared to the adult ones. Hello. So you just hold up their nose? Yeah. Interested? Sort of? Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, yes. Yep. They're just like so slow to eat. <laughs> but are they quite fast when they like run and... When they can run on the ground, they get quite fast, but they can't yeah. do it for very long. Okay. Oh, is that good? Oh, must be. <clears throat> so how come Titan's so big? He is actually half northern, half southern koala. So one of his parents is southern, one is northern. So there, even though there's only one species of koala, there's a bit of variation between the ones that are found up north in Australia to the ones that are found down south in Victoria. So the ones up here, they're the ones that are about four to six kilograms for females and eight to eight and a half kilograms for males. And they're a lot lighter in colour um, and a lot skinnier. Um, they don't have as much fur and fluff as well. The ones down in Victoria can reach 15 kilograms mm. and everything like that. So, and they're like it's colder. Yes, yeah. exactly. And their fur is yeah, their fur is so thick and so big mm -hmm. because it's so cold. It's kind of like a jacket on. Mm, right, yeah. But if you have a look at the difference on Google between a northern and a southern koalas, the southern koalas is like the drop bed of terrifying looking koalas. <laughs> <laughs> because these ones are a lot more dark. Yes, and they're so light in color compared mm. to how dark they are down in Victoria so funny like just being Australian like mm -hmm. I never would like you always get on your koalas and like I don't know this is like making me laugh not that I ever disliked them but like just like a different life uh, I'm the same because I did yeah. marine biology at uni so I want to go to SeaWorld yeah. so that's why I started putting yeah. back here but then I started volunteering here and I was like wow koalas and kangaroos are really cool yeah. <laughs> really like them <laughs> You're loving it. You definitely, yeah, because you take them for granted. Yeah, because like, you just like, are everywhere. everywhere. But kangaroos, so the coolest thing about kangaroos is they can have three joeys at one time. So they can have a joey that's in the pouch, still developing. They have a joey that's like that big that comes in to drink milk. And they have an embryo inside their bellies that they won't start development for that embryo, even though like it's already made until mm -hmm. the joey is old enough to go out of the pouch and the other joey is old enough. So they can pause <laughs> development of themselves. Crazy. How cool is that? You can pat them. Feel how soft they are. Hello. It's like a cloud. Oh <laughs> my gosh, you are my the cutest boy. thing ever. Sorry if I scared you. <laughs> You're funny. See the ear flapping? Yeah. Like, it's trying to be terrifying to us, but it's the cutest thing ever. It's like Jumbo yeah. about to take off. <laughs> oh, They're trying to be intimidating with that ear flapping. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> I'm too cool to be touched. Ah, my face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you are just loving it. <laughs> Do you feel like I never want to eat kangaroo again? <laughs> I felt so dirty and so gross. <laughs> Hello, baby. Do they eat the stems or it's just the leaf? They oh. can eat some of the stems. Nil interest. So she, I think she's about to eat a stem now. Oh. There you go. What are their teeth like? They're kind of like rabbit teeth. So they have two incisors at the front and three bottom teeth. And then they have gaps on either side and they have molars at the back. So the main natural cause for koala death in the wild is oh because no. their teeth wear down because their front two will cut the leaf off and yeah. their molars will grind the leaf down. Yeah. So as they're grinding the leaf down, their teeth are wearing down as well at the same time. Once they have no teeth, they can't eat. eat. Oh, wow. Where are you off to, Chicken Monkey? Sorry. 
Have you named the babies yet? Yes, I think this is. I think that's Nuka. Okay. And then I believe this one is Dora. And then we have Cora. Okay. Cora is who I'm training at the moment. Oh, big one. Hello. Oh, so cute. You have the best job. I'm so jealous yeah, right now. Oh. So cute. So my training involves holding her and my holding her for five minutes at a time. So it's a very hard job. Your job sounds horrible. <laughs> Are you hungry, Cora? Hungry? No. I just want to sleep. Hungry? No. Alright. She's so asleep. So cute. Um, but the way we name them is <laughs> siblings? Yeah. Um, I don't think they are, but they need to get us. So okay, so pretty much, yeah. He's gonna fight. Get off. Where is their mother? Um, the one at the top there, Hannah, the mu the baby that just walked away. That's her, Joey. Yeah, right. And then Deroy here, yeah, her his mum's sleeping up the back there. That she's got to go and annoy. And then Carly and Cora. But they usually just swap babies, like they'll feed any baby like up here that comes to them really. Uh. Just because they live so close together, out in the wild obviously that wouldn't happen. Uh. But they're pretty good and yeah, these. Yeah. Really hard on them. So cute. <laughs> So we are getting an evil to have our photo with the koala. Did you love that? Really cool. Yeah. Good yeah. Both of them. Those babies are the best. Check out these Aussie pillow friends. Oh, they do feel nice. Oh, do you want one? $14.99 or two for $25. So we got kangaroos. Horses, horses, koalas, and some rams. Good times. <laughs> and then you sit on that side. No, the other side. <laughs>
like the group one. I don't like my solo one because I look like Jada the Hulk. <laughs> <You're the worst>. <laughs> <laughs> so you can grab some pretty cool lunch stuff here. You can grab a menu. Wagyu beef burger, charcoal chicken, vegetarian, pretty good prices, $15.99, $14.99, also comes with chips, look pretty good, I've had the beef burger before, it's really really good, and then if you want the full buffet, the barbecue buffet, $18.50 for adults, $12.50 for children, so you have a steak, chicken, fish, or vegetarian lasagna, and cold and hot buffet choices, farm fresh baked rolls, pretty good. It's the same buffet as the breakfast, same area. And then also over here, you can buy some free stuff. Like salads, salads, sandwiches, wraps, muffins, food. And now we also got this And then if you're staying, you can just Yeah, it's really good. Sorry. And then we'll walk outside into the golden gemstone panning area. So you do have to purchase this one. Can find some gold. You want to pan for some gold, Luke? Yeah. Get some gemstones. <laughs> so we're headed up to the lorikeets hopefully to feed them hopefully to see them it didn't go so well last time so we'll see how it goes it's warming up a bit got a coffee definitely need it this morning are you having fun luke So we partied with the lorikeets, which was a lot of fun. Um, I loved the koalas. Oh, the walkabout was interesting. Getting attacked by goats. <laughs> I felt like I was a gay man or lesbian. But... <laughs> um, 
so Opal Mine is closed. So we'll just quickly show you that. So if you did want to come here, Glancy's Opal Mine. So it's... Oh, look at this! North Pole, Surface Paradise, New York. 15519 kilometers. So opals can be mined between 10 and 250. It's a pretty cool cave. Check it out. Oh, there's a little car. Cool. So, we are about to walk through the exit. Alrighty. It's really good shot. The exit. Oh, there's the turkey again, Luke's favourite. Who's screaming? Oh, it must be a show. So, they do have shows, but uh, we're meeting friends at Movie World, which you'll see soon. Um, so we're going to leave a little bit early, but that's okay. It's still a fun morning, 